Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here with Flowers and More by Rhonda. Coming to you with another Create, Craft, Share YouTube hop. Yes, we've been away for a while, but we're glad to announce that we are back with uh, some projects to share with you all this month. And our theme is fall. And if you have came from Scrap and Madges, you're in the right spot. Um, what I want to share with you all is a fun little simple quick uh, Pinterest idea that I had seen um, and they were like little scarecrow refrigerator magnets now the ones that I seen on Pinterest they were much bigger so I just took this little guy and uh, sort of created him and I used my uh, fun little stamps here from Peachy Keen the uh, everyday character faces and uh, after I put him together, though, I wished I had made him just a little bit smaller because there's too big of a gap right there. Or if you don't have these, you can just paint them on yourself. So, and then there's the back. Fun little project to do, even with the kids. Or, um, you know, give to Grandma to hang on her refrigerator. So what I did was... Now they just use regular old popsicle sticks for theirs and I have these uh, big wide craft sticks and I thought oh that's too big because I was really excited about using my peachy keen stamp because I hadn't used them yet. So what I did was I just took them and I sliced them down the middle like so because they cut pretty easy and then I took the pink and shears and now this was the hardest part. Now one of these will probably go flying everywhere. And then I just cut them to the length that I want. Well, there we go. Like so. And, whoops, like that. And then I just took in like some of these little shaved pieces. You know, I just shaped them up. And then I cut my other ends off. And this is what we have. Now I went on and painted these to save on a little bit of time, but I kind of just gave it a quick brush so it had a little bit of a whitewash look to it because he's an old scarecrow and he's and we want him to be weathered. So let me just get these pieces out of the way. And we'll go right on creating here. So the next thing after we do that. I just took some little scrap pieces here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these together. Now I also painted the back sides. You don't have to. Uh, you know just to just to make them look a little bit better. And I actually need to flip this over here real quick. And then we'll put it together like that. But let me give these a quick little flip here. And I thought, you know, I really want to glue these together quickly, easily, and still yet be pr pretty secure. So just using my scrap pieces, let me just make sure that it's all pretty even. Like so. There we go. I'm just going to take one of these and run. Make sure that's not too wide. Yeah, that's a little too wide. So just let me snip a little bit off of there. And yeah, that'll be better. Now I'm just run a bead of glue down it. Like so. Just glue it together. Give that a little push. Like I said, this is a fun little project you can even do with the kids. You know, while they're on fall break. Ta da! There we go. And then we've took another piece. Now I've made it a little shorter than the than the this piece here. And that piece is what's going to bank part of his hat. Like 
So, but before I do that, what I want to do is I have some scrap raffia here. This is about all I have left of the natural. And I'm just going to cut me a little bit off. And we're going to use it for his hair. Just grab some scissors here. A quick snip. And that might be way too long. So let me just trim that up. Like so. Now I want this on the inside so that way it looks like it's coming out from under the hat. Now I'm just going to hit this with a little bit of glue. Just kind of give it a little mush together. Be careful. Ouch. Don't burn yourself like I just did. Which is pretty typical of me. <laughs> and then we'll glue this onto the brim of his hat. Now if it's peeking out a little, no worries. We can go back and snip that off like so. Alrighty. Let's just trim that up right there. Next we will Get another little piece to make for the other side. I like the more straggly pieces personally because I just think it makes it look more fun. We'll use what we have here. Just give it a little snap. Real quick here, like so. Give that a little glue right there. Make sure you don't glue it to your fingers. There we go. Once you get it on, you can work it like you want it. Trim it up. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is before I'm going to take my little stamp and I'm going to kind of measure this out some. Because I don't want it up too far, but I want it up far enough to about where I want my little brim of my hat to go. Just so everything lines up. Now again, if you don't have the stamp, you can easily make your own little face by drawing it on. Or, you know, if you've got a stencil or anything like that, and make your own. Whoops. Hang on one second. So we've had a plank to come apart. No big deal. And I think I'm going to reinforce that with two just to give it more support. Let me just give it one more here. Right across here. There, that'll make it a lot more sturdier. Now, let's try this again. Okay, his little face. And his little hat. 
just measuring it all up. Okay, now I'm going to lay that down. Now if you want his hat straight, you can just glue that on right straight across, but I kind of like it at an angle. Just gives it a little more character. So let me just hit this side with a little bit of glue. I'm going to come out of focus here. Now I'm going to come over here quickly. Now you can use whatever type of adhesive of your choice, whether it's a you know a quick drying glue or whatever. Get that out of the way. And there we have this little hat. We'll press all that down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself this is just a wooden skewer and I'm going to take now the raffia doesn't curl as well as say your paper does but it just helps to shape it a little bit just to get it worked out of my way here and get it a little more trained there we go now you can use strips of you know like the craft paper if you, you know with children let's just trim this up a little bit and uh, do that same little technique and curl them you know, you can do a whole bunch of them, curl them, whichever, in every little direction. Just to make it more fun. And there we have that so far. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to take some paint. Now, I kind of, I had to make my orange, so I took some red and yellow. And I threw in a little bit of white. And I'm going to give this here a quick paint. I'm afraid it's about to dry up. I suggest painting everything before you put your brace on and then if you want to glue each little plank together uh, rather than you know just to, rather than doing the brace across the back you know it's just whatever you choose and there's what we have so far our fun little scarecrow guy adorable okay now then I have uh, some flowers here if you've got sunflowers or whatever type of flower you want to use this was the closest thing I had to a sunflower so that's what we're going to use on this fun little um, magnet let me get this out of the way here Okay, now I'm just going to use a distress ink because, like I said, I want this to have a kind of a white washed out kind of effect, like a scarecrow that's weathered. And um, I'm just going to attach it to this clear piece here. Give it a little bit of ink. I think these little stamps are absolutely adorable. 
And there we go. His cute little face. Isn't he adorable? I probably could have brought that down just a little bit farther. Next, we will give him a little bit of it, some embellishment here. Um, here we go. I have some of this uh, burlap string left over from when I did the centerpieces for the uh, Halloween dance over the weekend that I helped decorate for. And I just saved the little strings out of the burlap to use for other projects. So I'm just going to make a fun little bow here and I'll show y'all how I do mine. Um, just start it like that. Just a nice little loop like you're going to tie your shoes. And I don't want that very big. Let's get him out of the way here. And I get them to be about the same size, and I just keep going back and forth until I get myself about six or eight little loops. I think that's going to be enough right there. So we don't want it to be too overpowering on his little head. And then I take my wire from my flower that I have snipped off. Give it a couple of good twists. And then I'll just snip off all that excess there. I'll give it a nice little smoosh together and give that a snip. And we'll get all of this out of the way here. And now I'm going to place it. Move that over just a little bit. Some bows are a little more even. Now with some hot glue, I'll attach a little bow right near the brim of his hat. And then next we'll apply the flower. Like so. Now, if you have any old magnets, or if you have a, uh, a leaf would be really cute on there too, a roll of your magnetic strip, just take and cut you off a piece, and apply it to the back. And there we go. Easy, fun, cute little craft project that you can do. Great little bizarre say, uh, uh, make if you do bizarres. I'm just going to trim his hair up a little bit more. Fun project to do with the kids or just little fun gifts. And if you don't have the raffia or if you don't use paper, yarn probably would look just as good. So there you go. Cute fun little project. 
And then, of course, if you want to make them bigger, you can definitely do that. Uh, I just made them small because I wanted to use my fun little face stamp. Because I think it's too cute. All right. Well, thanks for joining us for our Create Craft Share YouTube Hop for October. And again, our theme this month is fall. So, uh, next is um, Jennifer. Uh, please swing by and visit her. The lineup is down below in the description box. And we want to say thank you to the wonderful Scrap and Madge, who has a blooming thing going on right now, uh, for hosting our wonderful little fun hops that we have missed doing so much. So join us next month. And until next time, everyone take care and have fun crafting. Bye-bye.